This is a video by Richpin. Today we're working on a Saturn S series. This happens to be a 1998 model. And this vehicle has got into an accident. And you, you can see the damage here on the fender. And what it has done, it, it has bent the front stabilizer bar. So we're going to get in there today and replace it. And so the first thing we need to do is get the vehicle up in the air, take the front tires off, and put it on jack stands. The first thing we need to do after we get our tires and wheels off is to remove the cotter pin from the lower ball joint and screw the nut off the ball joint as far as we can go. Next thing we need to do is to loosen the ball joint in the steering knuckle. Now take a pipe There we go. You can see that's loose there. Now we can remove the nut. By the way, this is uh, 18 millimeter. Okay. There we go. It's all clear. Next thing we need to do is to remove this 24 millimeter nut from the stabilizer bar to the lower control arm. Next, to give me a little bit more clearance here, what I did is I wrapped the strap around the uh, where the tie rod goes to the steering knuckle here and pulled it back just a little bit to give me some room. And we anchored the uh, strap back here. You don't have to do this, but uh, I think it makes it a little easier. All right, we've got the nut turned all the way, almost all the way out to the end of the bolt here. Now what we're doing is we're working on the right side, which is the most difficult side, but we have air tools. Now if you don't have air tools, I would recommend probably you do this on the left side, which tends to be a little easier. All right, so, and this bolt usually gives you the most trouble so we're going to use our impact our air chisel and try to push that bolt out Okay, it's moving. There we go. All right, now you want to get your wrench on the other end so you can turn that bolt and keep spraying that so you can loosen it up. All right. All right, that bolt's coming out now. We're gonna have to uh, put our strap on the uh, bar here and pull it over to relieve some of the uh, tension on that bolt. 
this bolt does take a lot of wiggling and spraying of uh, your uh, PB blaster in there. But there it is. And we got it out. And now we gotta wiggle that arm out of there. Okay, that's gonna take a little bit more work. Now to get that arm out of there, it just takes a little bit of wiggling in and out to get this loose in here. Once you get it moving like that, then it'll come out. Next we need to remove the other 24 millimeter nut on the other end of the stabilizer bar. <laughs> Next we need to remove the 15 millimeter headed bolts that secure the clamp for the stabilizer bar on both sides of the subframe. There's one there and then there's one over here. Now be careful of these bolts. They can strip out of the uh, subframe and if that's the case you'll have to try to get a wrench in there to hold that. So be careful of these bolts. Now I just removed the clamp on the side that I took the control arm off and so the bar is hanging down and all we have left now is the clamp on this side. The bolts are about halfway out right now. This would be a lot easier if there was two people involved here which I don't have but we will persevere And there's our stabilizer bar. She's all out. Now here's the replacement bar. Make sure you get it in the right way. Match it up to the one you took off. Now you can see that this angles upward here on this left side. And we just, just like we took it off, put it right in the control arm and just line up our bolts. Now with the clamps just started on the bolts this would be a good time to put your control arm in because you got a lot of play. There we go. Now we can now we can tighten these clamps up here. On the bolt right here that secures the control arm to the subframe, I would highly recommend putting a little grease in this area right here where it goes through the metal bushing and hopefully that will make it easier the next time you take it off, if there is a next time. So now it's just a matter of reversing our steps from here and we will have replaced our stabilizer bar on our Saturn S series.